respiratory movements enable air to pass from the airways to the lungs and vice versa. This allows the cells to obtain oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. The main parts of the body involved in respiratory movements are the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. The diaphragm is the muscle under the lungs. When it contracts, it lowers, which increases the volume of the chest cavity. When it relaxes, the volume decreases. The intercostal muscles are the muscles between the ribs. When they contract, the rib cage rises, which increases the volume of the lungs. On the other hand, when the intercostal muscles relax, the volume of the lungs decreases. Since the contraction of the respiratory muscles, the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, increases the volume of the chest capacity, the pressure in the lungs decreases. When the pressure of the surrounding air is higher than the pressure in the lungs, air enters the airways to reach the lungs. This is called an inhalation. In contrast, since the relaxation of the respiratory muscles decreases the volume of the chest cavity, the pressure in the lungs increases. When the pressure in the lungs is higher than the pressure of the surrounding air, air leaves the lungs through the airways. This is called an exhalation. Sometimes the movements of the respiratory muscles become uncontrolled and involuntary, and the muscles of the larynx contract. This is when hiccups occur. The sound you hear is actually a vibration of the vocal cords caused by air struggling to enter the trachea.